friends, I'm Karina. I hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about something that is not too often talked about within the budgeting community and it's something that hopefully, I mean I know I for sure experience it, hopefully that everyone experiences and I'm sure they really do um, and that is budget burnout. Yeah, the good stuff. Let's jump right into it. So guys, I'm sure you're thinking, wow, it's been a long time since I've seen her. Where the heck has she been? I shared in a couple of videos ago that we were in just a really busy, crazy season of life and that has still been true. Um, at the time, we were just getting ready to go to summer camp with our youth group and we came back and the busyness just kind of kept continuing. Um, and so we've sort of really gotten back on our feet, back into our routine um, with ministry and me with working outside of ministry and all that good stuff. So I feel like I'm back in motion and just getting back to my regular video schedule um, that I was used to and I've missed you guys so much so I'm excited for that and I really just needed to take some time and um, really just like get the wheels underneath me and get life rolling again. So thank you guys for your patience. For those of you who are new here, my name is Karina. My husband and I follow the Dave Ramsey system and we are doing so and getting out of debt. Um, we are now 19 months into our debt payoff journey and we have about another eight months to go about. So yeah, we are m way more than halfway done, which is really exciting, but um, still continuing on that journey and just trucking away. But that is what I want to talk to you guys about. And today we're just going to have a little chat about budget burnout because with the busyness of the last like season that we were in and how crazy the summer has been um, and where we're at as far as our journey with our debt payoff. For those of you who don't know, we've paid off everything that has is like current aside from my car payment. That'll be the last thing we pay off. And so over the past month and a half, we've entered into a new cycle where we are now paying off debts that have been in collections and things that before we even started the Dave Ramsey system, they were already in collections. So they were already like dead debts basically that we weren't um, able to like pay on. So, um, we are now making settlements for those things, but there's a huge difference between paying on active debt and paying on a debt that is in collections or is like that you need to settle basically. And so right now, instead of having like additional or extra income at the end of the month or at the end of a pay period and immediately putting that onto a debt that you're needing to pay off, right? You're like your smallest debt and your debt snowball. We're just putting that money into a little funnel into like a savings account. And so it almost feels like we're at like a standstill with our debt payoff journey. And I think that's really where the budget burnout has come for me. And I've entered into this cycle of, uh, or this state of wanting to like, just be done. Like I just, I just want to be done. I just want to be done. <laughs> and it is so, so difficult. And so I came home this evening and my husband and I were just talking about our budget and where we're at and how things are going and really getting through the next two months of this kind of awkward like cycle where we're not really actively paying off debt but we're like storing it up to pay it off and I almost feel like a squirrel or like a bear like f storing a bunch of food away for winter. Um, it, it's it's such a, a weird place to be in and such kind of a, a difficult thing to experience once you have gotten into a cycle and used to like the rhythm of seeing balances go down consistently in large chunks each and every month. It almost feels like, okay, like what do we do now? Like you're in a waiting game. And so um, that's really just where I'm at. You know, I'm tired of paying off debt. I'm tired of um, living like we don't have any money. Um, I'm tired of not moving on with the rest of our life. And, you know, we're at a point now where we are ready to, or wanting to, buy a house and we're looking into um, the future now and we can see like over the horizon this new portion of our life that's gonna be totally different from anything we've experienced in our marriage so far and I'm so anxious and so ready and excited to just be there and so right now I'm having to kind of 
settle and say, okay, like rewind a little bit. We will get to that point. But right now we have to be in this period that we're in right now and just refocus and readjust our gears. And so a couple of things that we're doing to get to a point of readjusting and just refocusing is talking about things as actively as we have been this entire time and continuing to talk about them. Um, just being open with the process and I'm actually working on a new vision board that we can, uh, that I'm actually gonna carry on with me in like my planner and then also a little update for us on our debt um, whiteboard that we have as well so that we can put into focus these new goals that we have and, and kind of look a little bit into the future but also help us to stay grounded in where we are and in what our money is doing for us right now. It's not just sitting, it's not just, you know, a, a, like, I don't know, it's not, not just sitting like wasted away, it's really serving a purpose and doing a job. And so that's something that we have to remind ourselves right now. Um, and also our roles are kind of shifting a little bit. I've, because so much of our financial mess I felt like was my fault, I really took the reins in our finances and I have been like the one really running our budget. And so I've expressed to my husband, um, in this time that I really need him to um, just kind of take control and to be the one steering because he is so dedicated to the system of course um, but also to just being content with what we have with what with what we've been given and to being in the mindset of not spending and just living with less um, in order to one day live and give extravagantly and have this amazing lifestyle that we worked hard to get to. And so he's really become like the cheerleader and um, like really just running the race and kind of dragging me a little bit right now. But um, the I would say he's more like the man out in front, like leading the charge. And I'm right there with him. but you know, kind of in more of like a backseat sort of position right now. So oh, it's just, that's just where I am right now. And I want to, you know, the reason I started this channel was because I wanted a place to be able to share these things and to be able to be honest and be open about this journey and to partner with other people who are in this journey and to give support and motivation and encouragement, but also just to be real because it is ugly and it is hard and it takes a long time. I mean, by the time this is said and done, we will have been in this journey for over two years. Like that's no small chump change. Like that's a toddler right there. So um, there's definitely no lack of understanding in that sometimes there are moments where we just feel like done and we want to just have this be over with. But knowing the reward and what is coming at the end of this journey is so much bigger than these momentary setbacks or, or momentary feelings of like, Ugh, is this really worth it? Because yes, it is worth it. And it will continue to be worth it as long as we continue to work the system. So I would love to know, guys, what step you're on. What is your family's financial journey looking like right now? Do you need motivation? Do you need encouragement? Do you need support? What would you like to see from me in future videos? And how can I best support you on your journey as well? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Have a great day.